morning here just it's just gorgeous you know it's, it rained a little bit last night and it's just it's just great i love you know i love uh, getting up in the mornings on a farm especially and just i mean it's probably in the man it's probably in the 50s i'm in a short sleep for actually getting ready to go to work um but i thought i'd come to you this morning and just speak talk to you talk to you a little bit um i know uh, hay season's coming up in a few months. Hopefully by the end of next month I can be able to start cutting hay. Uh, the fields are greening up. We got them fertilized. Like I said in past videos, my buddy's uh, out here with me this morning. He's actually not with me, but he went hunting this morning. Um, and that, I, like to get, I, I hope to be in the woods in the morning. That's my plan. Uh, I got a few gobblers here at the house. I actually just walked out here just about before I started filming. You know, there was a turkey in our field. So that's pretty. That's pretty impressive. Where you have a turkey out in the field. But guys, like what I want to say is things that need to be done here now on the farm. It's getting pretty close now. I thought I'd come to you and say, well, this is what needs to be done now. I know with work we're getting pretty busy and swamped at work. Um, so I think now we need a new. I need to start working on a new goat pasture uh, down uh, behind our. You see the shed, the shed, and there's a cemetery there and in the garden so we need uh, uh, there's a goat pasture that needs to be put back there because the pasture that i have them on right now they have they're eating it down pretty well and there's not much left so i need to work on that pasture that needs to be done uh my baler uh for my square baler it needs to be put in the shop and it needs to be uh all the maintenance on it so that needs to be done because we need to have it done hopefully by in the, the middle of next month so when hay season rolls around that's not holding us up and we're ready to cut and bail um my plan is to bail um let's see i got the two fields here at the house i got three up the road and i think i'm hopefully might have two more i have to drive to but that's my I'm hoping that'll be enough hay for us this year. I know with the cold weather that moved in, sometimes that stunts the growth of hay. Then you have, you know, big issues there with the hay not being able to grow. But that's things that need that thing that's things that need to be done on the farm at the moment that I'm getting ready to work on. But like one little thing is what just a, what amazing view and how peaceful it is to live on a farm. I mean you walk it wake up in the morning and you see this i mean that's that's amazing that's outstanding i mean it's a little bit chilly but i mean enough to stand in this in enough to uh take it with a short sleeve shirt i love it i love living on a farm i wouldn't want to live anywhere else to be honest with you i know a lot of the viewers might get mad and say well the city is where you need to be uh, not me i was born and raised not necessarily born here you know i've said that in past videos and i've said i'm not necessarily born here but I was always raised on a farm. My, my dad had already worked, my grandpa worked on a farm. And, and, and uh, on this street, I don't know if you know, I don't think I've ever mentioned it, but uh, back there is my grandpa's house in our main garage. This is my house. And, yep, sorry, that's my dad's sister's house and my aunt's house. Uh, so this is a, a family owned farm. It's been in my family for a long time. Um, uh, so I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. Me personally, I'd rather live on a farm. I mean, constant. I mean, I, I, I mean, that's what I want to do. I mean, I'd rather live on the farm. And but I, that's that's just me. You know, I wouldn't want to. Me, 
I wouldn't want to go to the city knowing where, that's not where I, that's not what I, that's not what I am. That's not who I am. Living on a farm is so peaceful and so quiet, and you're out on your own, your own private property, and you, you know all of this. We we live on 97 acres, so it's like we're out here by ourselves, and there's no one around. You know, that's why I would. That's why I would love to live on a farm. I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. I know my 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 future goal in my life and my my goals in my life is to, you know, is to have my own property, have my own land, and start my own farm. And you know, that's that's my goal in my life. I want to have my own to have my own property. You know. Um, but that's why I would want to live on a farm. It's, you, there's so many, there's so much of more advantages to living on a farm because you're out by yourself. It's quiet. You're by yourself. You don't have, I have to worry about all the hustle and bustle the, or people in the neighborhood. And don't get me wrong, we got people up out here. We're not completely by ourselves. We got, I mean, we got neighbors up the road, but they live on farms too. So it's like, okay, well, this whole neighborhood that I live around, we live on farms, you know. And with this virus that's going around, the coronavirus and all these things that, that we have a lot of shortage on, living on a farm and growing your own, growing your food, that is a plus. I mean, living on a farm, we have uh, a cellar and where we planted, like I told you, the garden, I mean, we have, we, we get ready, we should be hopefully to start planting this thing as soon as this weather breaks, we'll be planting a garden. But, I mean, we grow our own food i mean we can or the food that we that we grow and in, in, in stuff and we have stuff like that to uh um eat you know and we my dad and my family love to hunt so we go deer hunting in the fall and and i killed a deer last fall and we're eating on it you know and and with me raising meat goats i'm on we, we we're going to butcher i mean it's just a part of life i mean knowing you know and people might get mad and upset with me and say well why in the world are you killing your goat or killing deer it's because we know their purpose in life I've, i mean that's just the way it is they are here god created them for us and to, for man the bible says in genesis for man to have dominion over them you know if we do not kill them they don't get so overpopulated or overpopulate everything you know so that's why we got you know do that but we eat them we don't waste them you know like the goats that i'm raising they're, they're raising they're raised for us to eat you know and the deer that we have around on this farm we 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 i mean we feed them but we kill them i mean for us to eat I mean, I know we, we're, I hope, and hopefully this year I'm going to try to get a few pigs and we'll butcher them. It's because with the virus that went around, it took everybody by surprise because it were, there's a shortage of stuff now. And But see, that is the advantages of living on a farm is because we grow our own stuff. We have it here. We have it here, you know? And, and that's what I'm, that's why I love living on the farm because we're growing our own stuff. We have, we don't have the problem anymore. I know my aunt just bought a few fruit trees. So now we're getting our uh, orchard back. I know here in my, our backyard, we got four apple trees that we planted a few years ago. My grandpa, you can see him. I don't know if you can see him or not. Where am I at here? But they're in bloom back there, right there where I'm pointing. They're in bloom. I mean, here, this is it. We, my aunt's got grapes. My grandpa's got grapevines. I mean, this is the the advantages of living on a farm, you know. But I, I you know, I just want to come to you this morning and say, talk talk to you a little bit about a few things. I know, I know, I posted two videos right there, day, uh, day, two day, uh, a day apart, well, back to back because it was a parter. It was a two parter about opening day. So, hope y'all liked that. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, but guys, thanks for watching. And um, hopefully tomorrow I'll be in the woods, hopefully, and we'll get a, a few more. Hopefully, uh, my buddy can get one today, my dad can get one. I could be the only one left without turkey, maybe try to get one in the morning. But guys, thanks for watching, and always, uh, we hope the best for each and every one of you. Please like and subscribe, uh, share it, get the word out, guys. Guys, we appreciate it, and guys, we'll see you on the next video. Take care.